you know Lil Juke made it. Gang, it's your girl Double C back on the scene. And if you are new here, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that red subscribe button so you guys can be a part of the Double C gang because we're like this over here and that's on period. And if you're a boy and you watch my channel, and you my brother, period. Today is Tuesday, it is July 5th, it is 1:53 in the afternoon. I went ahead, did my morning routine, I journaled, I took a shower, I read a book by the pool. This is the book that I'm reading. I showed you guys this book in like my last two vlogs. It's called Atomic Habits. I read some of this by the pool, but then they started cutting grass. And you know that machine be hella loud. So yeah, I just couldn't focus. So I was like, okay, that's my it's my time to go. So today's Tuesday and my plan is to create content for you guys. But I went downstairs to the package room and I got two packages. One of them is my new nose piercing that you guys are gonna put on with me in a second when I go to the bathroom because I like my nose piercings to be dangly and the dangly part to this piercing like somehow fell off. So I had to get a new one. And then I got a wig from Wiggins Hair. I, have, I also have a lash appointment today at 3 p.m. I have to get my lashes filled. So as you guys can see, they're looking very sparse compared to when I first got them done which was like three vlogs ago or four vlogs ago. They lasted pretty long because it's been a month already. Oh, Cleo wants to say hi. Say hi, little baby. Say hi to everybody. Okay, you wanna get out? But she just finished eating. And yeah, my last appointment is at 3 p.m. So around like 2.40 is when I'm gonna get ready to leave or yeah, around like 2.40ish because I don't live that far from my lash tech at all. Damn girl, you got something to say to them? No? You interrupted me. But it's okay because you're so cute. You're so cute. Get off the counter. Get off the counter. Get off the counter, please. Clear. Bruh. Yeah, cats really do do what they want. I've been reading all of you guys' comments about suggestions, and I wanted to thank everyone and shout out to everyone who commented a suggestion for me because you guys were telling me a lot of advice, especially the cat owners. Thank you. Shout out to y'all because y'all are the best. Y'all gave me so much new information. I moved her litter box into the bathroom. I have to move the rug in there as well because, yeah, she's been getting litter all over my bathroom floor. I have to go buy her some more food today. Um, I kind of want to cook today as well, but I don't know exactly what I want to make. I know I need to order some more salad order. I'm either going to order salad, like order groceries to my house, or like actually go grocery shopping. I'm going to see, like it depends on how I feel for real, for real. Oh, Cleo! She moved the camera. But, yeah, so I'm going to go change my nose piercing. I do want to cook tonight, but I just don't know what I want to cook. Hopefully I do have time for all that because my last appointment is at three and i'm getting a fill which is probably gonna take like an hour so i'll probably be out of there by four then i want to come home and film my video after that is probably when i'll cook and maybe then clean we'll see but oh <gasps> before we end today's vlog y'all know the deal make sure y'all give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below. all right girl because you just move my camera again you have every room she's still Are you serious? She's like, I wish y'all could see what she's doing. Like she's literally like moving the camera on purpose. And make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel if you are new here. And yeah, let me go change this nose piercing. And I don't know what I'm gonna do after that. Maybe I'll make myself something to eat really quickly. It's already two o'clock. So I don't know, I'll probably just have some potatoes cause I'm really, I'm really hungry. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Did I put on deodorant? <laughs> All right, so we're in my bathroom now, and I'm about to change my nose piercing. First, I'm gonna wash my hands. And I just finished petting Cleo and touching. What did she just drop? What are you doing? 
So when I change my nose piercing, I like to get a little bit of Vaseline and put it on the outside. Put some of that jaw on the inside. Also, I definitely did have this side pierced, but it fell out and it, it closed. And I really don't feel like getting it pierced again. So we're just gonna leave that closed and I'm never piercing that hole again. But I kinda do wanna get my septum back. All right, I'm gonna take this out with my nails. Okay, hold on. Hold up. I think we have to do it like this. All right, let me do this off camera. Okay, so I got it open and I'm just gonna take it out. This is what the nose ring looks like. It was just rose gold, but it's getting like pretty rusty, so it's time for a new one. And this is my new one. I had this one before, but I loved it so much I had to get it again. Boom, that easy. That was the fastest I've ever installed a nose piercing. Round of applause for me today, babes. Let me show you what it looks like. It's a little heart, and it has like a teardrop little thing. Look at my lashes. I really do need a fill. <laughs> All right. But what time is it now? Okay. So it's only 2.03 right now. I don't even know what I'm about to do, babes. Like, I think I'm just going to make myself something to eat really quickly. Just so like, I'm not starving at my appointment. Because I'm going to be laying there for a while. And I don't want to be hungry. So let's go to the kitchen and let's make ourselves something to eat. So today we're gonna put our baby potatoes to use. Instead of using the big potatoes, I'm just gonna make something with these little baby potatoes. I think I'm just gonna cut them up and do like homemade fries, but just smaller ones. All right, cause I'm cooking and you're not gonna do that. Let's get off of here. Thank you. Stay right there. Uh-uh. Cause when I'm making food, you don't ever jump on the counter. So don't show out right now. Hey, Cleo. All right, I'm really gonna have to use that spare bottle tactic cause there's no way. All right, so I have one, two, three, four. I have five little baby potatoes that I'm just gonna cut up really quickly. I also do have to buy a cutting board. A lot of you guys were telling me, please get a cutting board so you don't mess up your counters. Like, I know, I definitely do need one. Like, today, is pro I'm probably have to go to Target and buy everything I need. I definitely need stuff like candles and all that type of cute stuff. So, yeah, a cutting board is definitely on my list today. Trust me, I don't wanna fuck up these counters either, babes. <laughs> okay? The time is currently 2.21. Ooh. See, the placement ain't that cute today, y'all. Y'all gonna have to excuse me because literally I don't have any time. Like I literally didn't even get to fry these as long as I wanted to. Because in a few minutes, I'm gonna be having to order my Uber because by the time I get there, it'll be like 2.50. I don't ever like to show up late because I don't play with people's time because I don't like when people play with my time. So one thing about it, I'm gonna always show up to my appointments early. One thing about it, like I was saying, I'm always gonna show up to my appointments early because I just don't, 
I don't play with my time. I, I don't play with people's time and I don't play with my time. But here are my potatoes. I'm going to dog these down really quickly. And here comes Cleo. You ate so back up. Back up. Back up. It's kind of cold in here. All right, y'all. I got my lashes done, as you guys can see. They're definitely looking very much more filled. I got in a hat right now because my lace is looking absolutely crazy. I was wearing shorts earlier, but I put on these sweatpants because I wanted to dress more comfortable. I should have wrote down a list of all the things I need so I don't you know get tempted to buy other things but you know we'll see we're about to go to target uh, it's about to be so therapeutic because why is target just so freaking relaxing for no reason i know i'm gonna go pick up some candles food for cleo any household necessities like toilet paper paper towels and as well as some ingredients to make some rasta pasta because i was not playing when i said i wanted to make my rasta pasta maybe got cleo in the cut Say what's goody gang. Say what's good, y'all. But this fit, this fit is actually so cute. I'm definitely gonna be repeating this because I feel like this fit is definitely picture worthy. Like it's giving uh yes. Period. Alright. Looking cute to go to Target for no reason. <laughs>
so I came back home from Target probably about over an hour ago, but I had to let my camera charge and clean up and get prepared to start cooking. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got from Target and I'm gonna let you guys know what I'm officially making tonight. So I ran out of bags of salad, so I got my good and gather. This is an Italian blend. Whoa, this salad is nearly about to rot. July 8th? It's the 6th. Not me buying a really old bag of salad. All right, well, we got this really old bag of salad. Then I bought this plate specifically for the meal that I'm gonna make tonight just because I want it to look real cute and fancy. So I bought me a new plate. Next, I got some clean linen air fresheners. This is my favorite one because it smells like fresh laundry. Can't go wrong with those. So I got two of those. I bought some panini. That's what I'm gonna be using when I cook tonight. We have another clean linen. And then I bought a little facial toner because I had one of these, but I lost it. So I got a new one just to keep my skin clear and take all the dirt off of it. Then I bought this Pure Castell Dr. Bronner's soap. This scent, this, the green one smells so good. I love the way this smells. In the next bag, I have some bell peppers that we're gonna be using for tonight. Next, we have some mozzarella cheese. We have a red onion. We have a white onion. I bought a whole bunch of like wet canned food for Cleo. Have some heavy whipping cream. More canned food for Cleo. Next, I bought, oh my God, I almost made this drop. Next, I bought some lint rollers. This is like, if you have a pet, a dog, a cat, so I can pick up the cat hairs. It's all purpose. You can use it on your clothes, on the pet, on your furniture. So I bought some of these because you know I have a cat now. And I'm not sure to be one of those pet owners that walk around with hella cat hair on them. So, but so far so good. Honestly, I haven't seen like any cat hairs on any of my clothing or my furniture. Next, I bought a little facial mask because I want to do a little skincare. So we have that. Next, I bought some more silverware, but it comes with a caddy. This is what it looks like. I think this is Room Essentials, yeah. It comes with four dinner forks, four dinner knives, four teaspoons, and a little caddy to keep my, um, my forks and spoons in. Then we have some little cat food right here. I bought some guacamole to make avocado toast in the morning because Target literally had a whole bunch of rotten avocados. So I was like, fuck it, I'll just get some guac and boil an egg. I forgot bread. How am I gonna make avocado toast with no damn bread? <laughs> I forgot bread. You know what else I forgot? Toilet paper, which I was supposed to buy. And I forgot paper towels. Okay. Wow, okay. And lastly, I bought two candles. One of them I'm burning right now. And then this is the other candle that I bought. It's pineapple, sage, and sugar cane. This absolutely smells so good. I cannot wait to burn this so my house can be smelling like this. But that's everything that I got from Target. Well, no, that's not everything. And then I got some lip glosses. And last but not least, last but not least, I got Cleo some dry food. This is the brand that I ordered online for her. It's Purina. Cat Chow. I, I ordered this exact bag on Chewy.com, but they haven't shipped it out and it's been a while and I'm like, okay, y'all shipped everything else that I ordered real fast. Where's Cleo's food? So I had to go buy her food because she literally ran out of food. So now Cleo's fully stocked on food. So she should be good. And then she has more food that should be coming if Chewy would hurry up and ship my order. It's been like over a week and they haven't shipped my order. So. I don't really know what's up with that. It's currently 9.13 p.m. I'm about to get started on cooking. I am making Rasta pasta. I'm putting myself to the test. I already washed the dishes. Let's see if I can make some Rasta pasta. We're missing one more ingredient. Hold on. I gotta show y'all what else I got. So, I also, how I'm showing y'all Rasta pasta with no chicken line. You probably like, girl, Rasta pasta with a meat. I also bought some asparagus to grill down for myself to go along with the meal. 
And I also got some mild jerk seasoning. Ah, this is from Publix because Target did not have this jerk seasoning. So I ordered this stuff to my house and I didn't like the way Target's meat was looking. So I just ordered chicken breast from Publix and this is what it looks like. We have some boneless, skinless chicken breast filet. No antibiotics or any of that. This is the brand, just bare 24 grams of protein per serving. And I think it just comes with two chicken breasts. I'm only gonna use one because I don't even like a lot of meat in general. So, this is gonna be my first time cooking chicken ever. Disclaimer, I know that you do have to clean your chicken. I have some limes. I don't have lemons. I have vinegar, but I have used it for other purposes for my pH balance and I use that like in the bathroom. So I'm not gonna use that vinegar cause that's gonna be really unsanitary. So I'm just gonna work with the lime and like really rinse the chicken off well. Hopefully that works. Like I said, disclaimer, this is my very first time making chicken. So please bear with me. I'm gonna get right back to you guys and we're gonna get started on cooking. Yo, Cleo mad funny, look at her. <laughs> yeah, that's fire. So stay away from it, okay? Why is she just looking at it like that? I don't have a large bowl. <laughs> I don't have a large bowl, so I was like, okay, should I just clean the chicken off in here and I do that? Just what I'm gonna have to do because I don't have a large bowl. I don't know why I don't. But now I'm realizing that they, I need to get a large bowl for things like this, especially if I'm gonna be cooking. Because the fact that I'm cleaning this meat off in, I'm really uncomfortable. The fact that I'm cleaning this meat off in this little freaking pot is disturbing. So, I don't even know if I'm doing this right. Let me wash my hands one more time. Oh my god. Not me getting soap on the chicken. You're done. You're done. So I got some limes. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it off with some limes.
currently 10 30 i finished making the chicken so i'm gonna put the chicken to the side because right now i have to put all of these into this pot so we're still not done babes but i have the chicken ready and as well as the pasta the last step right now is just to throw everything together so that's what i'm about to do so far so good this is my first time making chicken and it looks really good and it smells really good babe so let's hurry up and wrap this up because babes i'm i'm getting hungry just by smelling all this Okay guys, I promise my eyes are open, but <laughs> I am so proud of myself. Y'all see, I am super proud of myself. This looks so good. We're about to try it and here comes Cleo. Uh-uh, girl, get down because I'm trying to eat. You ate in peace, let me eat in peace. Come on, get down. Get down. Get down, please, thank you. So as you guys can see on the plate, we have some asparagus and we have my Rasta pasta. Definitely for presentation, I'm gonna give myself a 10, period. Mm. This is my first time making asparagus. Hit it on the head, hit it on the head. Even though asparagus is not that hard to make, but it's my first time. Oh my God. Wait, hold on. I've been getting busy in the kitchen. Like, pasta's so hot. Mmm. I didn't even take a picture. Oh my God. Hold on, wait. Hold on. I did not take a picture. I forgot to take a picture. Oh my God, my mom would be so proud. It don't look the same. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god, I forgot to take a picture. Like, I'm not even trying to sit here and gas myself. This is way better than my stir fry noodles. This is so good. Nah. 
Nah, mm -mm. I did my thing, I'm not gonna lie. I'm definitely giving myself a 10. I feel like I could have added more heavy cream though. But overall, for my first time making rasta pasta, I didn't watch a tutorial or nothing, but I did watch like the TikTok steps. But, oh my God, I should've made more asparagus. I'm saving that asparagus for tomorrow. And I'm gonna make some more asparagus and warm this up and eat it. This is the best thing I've ever made. Like, I really, I'm so proud of myself. The chicken, the pasta, everything is just perfect. Like this tastes like some real authentic, well not, I'm not gonna like gas it like that, but this tastes so good. If y'all were to try this, y'all would not believe that I made this. Y'all be like, Chanel, you're capping, you're capping. You didn't make that, you didn't make that. This is too good. Oh my God. Like, y'all don't know how proud of myself I am. I was so nervous about this meal. But it came out so good. I was so nervous that it was not gonna taste good. Y'all, I shocked myself. I'm like, wait. I made this? It took me a really long time to make it. I don't know, on TikTok, people were like, it takes 15 minutes to make. No, this took me like nearly, I want to say a good hour and a half to make. It took me a pretty long time. I just got food on you, Cleo. Get down. Come on. Come on. Get down. Say bye-bye. Stay down. Thank you. Stay right there. I'm eating. Oh my god. 10 out of 10. Round of applause for Chanel in the comments because she did that. Period. Period. This shit is so good, bruh. Like, it tastes like somebody's grandmother made this. Like, hold on, Chanel. Let me find out. My chicken tastes good. It tastes perfect. Oh my god. Mm mm. That's too good. I just bodied that. Oh my god. Y'all, I got more. And trust me, ain't none of this going to waste. Look, we got a whole pot full of this rasta pasta. Mm. Oh my god. Y'all. I got the itis. That was so good. I just can't believe that I made this. <laughs> like, y'all know how proud I am. I was literally doubting myself, like, damn. I don't know if it's gonna taste good. Like, I was like, damn, am I even doing all this shit right? Ooh, that was so good. But look at my kitchen. Like, look of a look how big of a mess I made. Cause I was trying so hard. Look, look at the stove. I gotta close this so this won't go bad. <clears throat> look, with one hand. Period. Y'all, yeah, look at this mess. Ugh. Now I have to clean all of this. Am I gonna do it now? Uh, I don't know.